if your New Year's resolution this year is to be kinder to the environment and you're looking for a way to get started, the Island School in Cape Eleuthera is a good start. The school has numerous programs on conservation and sustaining and protecting the environment, and school officials feel they can offer unique employment opportunities for students looking for a career and adults looking to change jobs, perhaps. Shanique Miller takes a look. It's a school where the curriculum goes beyond math and English. On a daily basis, students here make tangible efforts to lessen the human footprint on the environment as well as sustain the ecosystem. The Bahamas, we're a tourism destination, but however, if we continue to go down the road that we are on um, with the mass tourism, what's going to be here for the future and then no money is going to be made in either way. So I think that we should do it in a sustainable way in order to preserve it for years to come. CLB student Taran Sims is an ecotourism development major. He, along with Keanu Brennan, are enrolled at the island school. Brennan is focused on marine science. The solar and wind energy takes a strain off the use of fossil fuels, which then in turn decreases the CO2 emissions in the atmosphere. So it's a very great thing here in the country, and we should explore it more as a people. Here at the Island School, I'm doing research with Taran and another intern, Margaret. Uh, she's from New York, and we're doing research on population density. And we're also looking at middens or conch shell piles to get an, an idea of the fishery and the pressure on the fishery now. And it's looking like a lot of juveniles are getting hit. And that's our level of our contribution to the sustainability of this campus, is figuring out exactly how to sustain the populations that are existing in this area. Auburn University student and St. Augustine's College graduate Aaron Cash. The message and the movement is catching on. Just what the Island School at Cape Luther Institute wants. Young Bahamians taking a keen interest in various forms of sustaining the environment. Eleuthera native Kaylin Griffin is driving the crusade for more Bahamians to enroll. Why do we have this type of research? Why should anybody care about aquaculture? Why should anybody care about conch? These are the things that we as Bahamians need to understand and appreciate and value and also be able to teach the next generation of, of young leaders coming up in the Bahamas. There are scholarships available. Accounts Administrator Danielle Gibson encourages students to jump right in. And a lot of the things that we do are very relative um, in terms of food security, in terms of renewable energy and energy security, and also in terms of just being leaders in our community and taking control of how we use our resources. Tilapia farming also happens on the campus. Gibson explains that the wastewater from that is channeled into another area. It streams into grow beds to grow the lettuce because the lettuce and other greens take up the nitrates and the ammonium that's in that water from the tilapia. And that goes in, it's filtered into an enclosed system. Once the water is cleaned by the lettuce, it goes right back into the tilapia bed. So we're conserving water as well as we are increasing food security. The programs at the Island School are varied. Electricity is produced through solar and wind panels. Human waste is turned into methane gas, and used cooking oil after being processed is turned into diesel. Students from all over the world study on the campus. Shanique Miller, 7S News.